Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to play with one of the funkiest extrude tools, which is the extrude to 3D cursor. So let's go back into edit mode. And this one's a little tricky. So before you grab the tool, I want you to go to your selection mode, or you can hit W on your keyboard. Select the face up here at the top, and then now click on the tool, and you want to go to extrude to cursor. And now we've got this tool. This one's pretty crazy. So what's going to happen is it's essentially going to follow the cursor as you click. So I'm going to do it just really quickly just to kind of show you the idea. We're not going to keep this, but, you know, just showing you what this thing can do very quickly. Uh, it's really used for uh, kind of curvy, organic, or if you're following a line of some kind, you can do this really quickly. But things you want to look out for is inverting your geometry. See how I kind of inverted it, you know, taking it too too far extreme to the other. You want to avoid that at all cost when doing um, 3D print design because that's going to be a mess and a nightmare. So let's just undo all that if you were playing along with me here and just get it right back to the top where you're, you know, where it was. And what we're going to do is just barely click up right above this, just like that. And notice it's kind of going pretty extreme. So maybe even go kind of eye level with it, like down here. And then just barely click. And I'm getting, you don't want it to go too crazy. Maybe just something like that. You know, something like a 45 degree angle. That looks pretty good. And then maybe we'll just scale that down just a little bit. And then maybe we'll do it again, just a little bit here. Scale it down. Maybe come a little bit over here. Scale it down. And maybe one more. Scale it down. And one more and just get it. So we're kind of just like making like a little little witch's hat or something. Uh, but really that's just to show this type of extrude tool. I don't use it too often, but you know, if you are needing some type of, you know, if you need to make like a hook um, and you don't want to just extrude and rotate and extrude and rotate, you can use this tool to quickly make, uh, you know, curvy extrusions. So that is the last extrude tool. And I hope that this cube has taught you a lot about all the different types of extruding and when and how to use them. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to prep this for 3D printing.